The status and mechanic changes brought with the first mainline patch of 2020 kinda roughed up a whole lot of shotguns, but on the other side of the spectrum, the Boar Prime is doing quite well. Hey guys, welcome back, as always, my name is Lazar, and today we're gonna be diving deeper into this primary weapon. As per the usual, I'm gonna have a cheapo build, something affordable that most players will be able to build, but of course we also have the quote-unquote endgame setup with a crazy ribbon. That said though, please keep in mind that my builds and guides usually take a new player friendly approach. That's because I want anybody watching to understand how the weapon functions and how it should be built. So in case you're a veteran and you already know most of this stuff, please bear with me. And with that out of the way, let's jump into the Boar Prime. Let's begin by checking out how the weapon handles without any mods equipped. And for that, just a couple of free shots. The Boar Prime is one of my favorite shotguns in Warframe and believe it or not it hasn't seen much better days than today in the sense that the status chance changes and the status effect changes that we got going on with the start of 2020 in mainline didn't affect the Boar Prime in such a negative way. Now this one my friends is an automatic shotgun, take a look at this. Beautiful with no mods on, take a look at all those pellets, absolutely fantastic. This one sounds awesome too, look at this. It's extremely powerful, extremely impactful, and honestly, in gameplay, it does feel very, very satisfying. A quick word about the pellets. You notice this? It's a star-like formation. You see that? It's kind of like a... Well, let me let me try to show you one more time. It's kind of like a star-like formation. Take a look at this. You see that? It's kind of weird. So, of course, to get the maximum amount of damage out of a shotgun, you're going to have to be nice, close, and personal with your target. I only have one issue with the Boar Prime, the reload is 2.8 seconds, why? It's a tad on the lengthy side, but other than that, it's quite fashionable, which of course is subjective. Now let's hop on over to stats to see exactly what we're dealing with. Mod capacity, 60 out of 60, and if your Boar Prime has only 30 out of 30, jump into actions and install the Oro King Catalyst, which will be doubling your mod capacity. Schnell, schnell, quite the good weapon, this one is definitely worth investing in. My weapon has been formatted a total of 7 times because it doesn't matter why, but the point is you only gonna need to format about 2 to 3 times depending on the final build that you chose. Let's have a look at accuracy, 5. <laughs> yeah, 5. Well, at least uh, we can use something like, uh, let me show you Vicious Spread. With this one, the accuracy goes down to 3.1. Honestly, I don't really feel it. So if you think that you can benefit from Vicious Spread in your build, 100% go for it. You're not really gonna need to. Plenty of great mods that you can slap on the Boar Prime. Next, we have the Critical Chance and Critical Damage, 15% with 2.0x. The multiplier is fine. The base Critical Chance is like right at the edge of barely worth it, but still worth it, 100%. Fall off between 8 and 25 meters, that's pretty much standard for most shotguns in Warframe. Of course, in the Weapon Excellence mod slot, which, yes, I guess it's worth unlocking. You can put in Fatal Acceleration, 40% projectile speed, which will increase your drop-off uh, from 18 starting at 25 to 35. You can live without this one, it's not 100% necessary, but you can also use something like Silent Battery, because it's fun, so there you go. When it comes to the fire rate, 4.67 as you saw there is absolutely fantastic, no need to go overboard with this one because with a quote-unquote final build for the Boar Prime, you're gonna be able to one-shot, two-shot most targets, so going would kinda mean bad ammo efficiency, which would mean you reloading and reloading a lot is an issue with the weapon simply because you got that reload of 2.8 seconds by default. Magazine of 20, a multi-shot of 8, so that's 8 pellets by default. Absolutely glorious noise alarming and of course the Riven Disposition is 5 out of 5. Yes my friends, the Boar Prime is a hidden gem at the current time. So get your Rivens while you can, while the prices are low because this one really does pack a punch and you can have fun with Rivens as well. Now I'm fully aware that Rivens are not everybody's cup of tea and if you still don't understand how Rivens work, link in the cards right now for a full tutorial. Status per projectile, 11.3%. My friends, again, per projectile. So if you want to know the shot status chance, you can multiply 11.3 with 8. Okay, that would be your shot status chance, which is absolutely huge. Basically, it's, it's is it 100%? I don't know, it's like close to 100%. Trigger auto, and when it comes to the damage per projectile, you got a whole lot of impact, and perhaps this is the biggest issue with the Boar Prime. Most amount of damage is impact, which is... 
Well, it's annoying to say the very least, especially if you consider the fact that recently we got a whole bunch of changes with Mainline 2020. Changes to all the elements and elemental combos, changes to impact, puncture and slash. And with all of that, and the developers still did not take into account to do something about impact and make it less annoying. Believe it or not, for a short while there, it was actually more annoying. And thankfully, they came to their senses after we kind of push them in that direction. So there's that. You also got a small amount of puncture and a small amount of slash. When it comes to slash, because I know you guys love slash, you can go with sweeping serration and with shredder, but it would still not be enough to get your slash value over your impact value. From my point of view, this is not the ideal way to go about it. We will be making the boar prime into a slasher, but of course it's gonna be through hunter munitions. And speaking about hunter munitions, let's jump into a standard build. And we got a whole lot of damage with point blank and blaze. Blaze will also be adding 60% heat to the weapon. We got multi shot with health chamber, critical chance, critical damage combo provided by laser sight and shrapnel shot. And we'll talk about these two just a tad later. Hunter Munitions needs to be here. Even though the base critical chance on the Boar Prime is only 15%, Hunter Munitions makes it into a full blown monster, as I will demonstrate. You also got the Vital Elemental Combo because Vital right now in Warframe is the most powerful elemental combo between Toxic Barrage and Chilling Reload. Curious, huh? Mm, let's talk about the build for just a second. When it comes to crit chance, if you don't like my options, which mathematically should be more powerful, you can go for the more comfy approach. Blunderbuss instead of Laser Sight. Now, Blunderbuss, 90% critical chance, a whole lot less than 120% critical chance from Laser Sight, but this one is guaranteed no matter how you fire, when you fire. This one is an on headshot for 9 seconds and only while aiming, so bear that one in mind. When it comes to critical damage, Shrapnel Shot is actually not bad at all, 99%, a whole lot more than the standard Ravage at 60%. It's an on kill effect, normally in missions you're gonna be getting plenty of kills, so bear that one in mind. Also it has the same when aiming limitation. If you don't have these two mods from the trade chat my friends you're looking at about 5, this one is not even worth much of anything, I feel like 2 plat Shrapnel Shot, maybe 3. All right. For laser sight, you might be paying something like 10 plat. You see, there are some similarities between these two mods. Essentially, they're from the Acolyte event, which rolls around once a year or twice a year. Again, don't pay more than 10 plat for the mods. Let's talk about vital damage. Why not go with the 260-60 mods? Well, actually, if I was to do that, to go with Frigid Blast instead of Chilling Reload, this would be more powerful. From a shot-by-shot -shot action kind of approach, but when it comes to usability, I urge you try Chilling Reload. Again, the one usability issue that the weapon does have from a, well, from a shotgun perspective, is that reload of 2.8 seconds. Okay, you fix some of that with Chilling Reload, bringing down the reload to two seconds, which is still not all that hot, but better than nothing. Again, this is a compromise of sorts. If you don't have Blaze or don't like Blaze for whatever reason, fear not my friend, there are plenty of other options you can plug into this one. By all means, treat it as your option slot. You can get your heat from the 60-60 heat mod Scattering Inferno, 60% heat and 60% status chance. Now the damage on Blaze will also mean that you're gonna be getting higher value slashes, so bear that one in mind. Not more slashes per se, but higher value when it comes to the damage, that 60% will help you there, but this one offers you more status chance. When it comes to damage, the results honestly are comparable between these two. You can run the math if you so desire, but you're never gonna see the difference in actual gameplay, unless you have a Hawkeye or something. You can never, ever go wrong with more multi-shot. I lied, there's one weapon when you can go wrong with multi-shot, but more on that some other time. If you don't have any of those two mods, you can go with Vigilante Armaments and 60% multi-shot, totaling 22.4 pellets per, well, per shot, basically. And the final option, more damage, my friends, with nothing but vicious spread. Now, the advantage to vicious spread is that it does not add one more element to the proc priority, to the possible procs, right? Heat, but in this case, I really do want heat because in Warframe currently, it's the most powerful single element outside of slash. Now, in this case, my slash value on the weapon, honestly, is negligible. It doesn't really matter all that, all that much because my slashes will be coming through hunter munitions. So I do want the heat on blaze. And initially, we're gonna be testing out the weapon as such with Fatal Acceleration. Level 120 Corrupted Heavy Goons. And again, about that weapon excellence mod slot, don't worry about it too much if you don't wanna unlock it. If you don't wanna spend the plat or if you don't wanna farm. First, we're gonna have to get a kill to get the build in full power and all whatnot. We're gonna put a whole lot of shots, take a look at that. Beautiful, fantastic. And now, my friends, I got my critical damage from Shrapnel Shot. 
take a look what happens here. I got nine slashes, six vitals, six heats, and I think it was like two or three impacts, something along those lines. The weapon can perform like an absolute brute. Take a look at that. Fantastic, isn't it? Slash values up to 4,000, but of course you can get even higher than that. 10 slashes, 6 fires, and I didn't see the rest of it. You can bump up the level of the Corrupted Heavy Goons to 150, 170, 1 whatever, but you're not gonna see a huge difference when it comes to test results. If you get... Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely freaking phenomenal. Of course you're gonna be getting slash values even over 4,000. It's gonna depend on how many vital procs you already got on your target. And a build such as this also tackles the issue with the reload. 2 seconds is manageable. 2.8? Well, it's subjective of course, but for me, that's just annoying. The weapon is extremely powerful, but let's see what happens if I go with Prime Mods. Will they make a big impact on the weapon? Well, in this configuration, only Prime Point Blank will make a huge change, because I'm already using Shrapnel Shot. 99% critical damage, I'm gonna get basically 11% more with Prime Ravage. And of course, we're gonna be testing out the weapon like so. I did get the message, guys. You wanna see Prime Mod builds and then the Riven setups. I got it, I got it. Don't worry, it'll just take another three minutes. My videos were not long enough. Now I don't have to wait. Take a look. Yes, big impact. Big impact, but again, it's not about Prime Ravage, it's about Prime Point Blank. Take a look. No Riven, no anything. Basically, I think it's about three shots. Let's see, one, two, and that's gonna be the third one into the target. How many slashes did I got? Oh, only two slashes. Got a little bit unlucky there. You need... If you're gonna get like three slashes, then you're gonna need like seven vital procs. I have a whole table uh, to see exactly how fast you can kill a corrupted heavy goon. It's about the procs, honestly. How lucky can you get? Did you see that? 5,300 slash on that one. Absolutely phenomenal. I love the weapon. And now, my friends, we finally get to talk about Riven mods, because Rivens for the Boar Prime are cheap-ish. You can get an unrolled one for under 100 plat, currently, okay? So, go get one, definitely. It can roll minus IPS, in the sense that it can roll minus impact. And considering the Riven disposition is 5 out of 5, you can roll minus 100% or more. Finally time to show you my Riven setup. Now, first of all, I would like to thank you guys for loaning me your fantastic Rivens. Check this one out, guys. Critical chance, multi-shot, toxin, minus impact. Mwah! Beautiful, fantastic, minus 116%. Check this one out as well. Multi-shot, crit chance, heat, minus impact. Now, in this case, because I can save a mod slot, in this case, okay, I'm gonna go with the toxin one, simply because I can... Uh, viral on the weapon with a single mod now with frigid blast. It's true my status chance is not fantastic But it's gonna be plenty trust me blunderbuss is here as well again normally in the fat pork build I don't think it really has any room You can replace it with blaze if you so desire to get more critical chance Of course more critical chance will mean more procs from hunter munitions It's up to you treat it again like your option slot But now let's test this fantastic ribbon out and see how it performs uh, it's kind of pointless to 120, let's go 150 with a ribbon such as this, you gotta go higher. Because this one, on a 120, can actually get a one-shot like half the time. Take a look. Beautiful. Fantastic. 17 slash. did you see that? 17 slashes, 10 vitals. That was two shots, 23 slashes, 10 vitals, two shots, eight slashes, eight vitals, let's do one shot. That's seven vitals, eight slashes, that's a, that's a one-shot. That's it. That's it. Okay, it's not gonna happen all the time. You got f actually. Oh no, that's one is gonna stop like right at the end. Right at the end, it's gonna stop. Ha! Told you. Ha ha ha! Do I know my stuff or do you know my stuff? Never mind. Yeah, I know getting a roll such as this one is difficult, and I know that a ribbon like this, if you were to buy it, costs a whole lot. But the point is, the base ribbon, okay, an unrolled one, is not all that expensive, and this weapon is an absolute monster. It wasn't so badly touched by the status chance changes that they implemented a couple of months ago. A couple of months, a couple of weeks ago. And now it's finally time for Warframe buffs, and of course for that we're gonna be using the ever so lovely Lady Mirage Prime and her fantastic buffs, of course. Corrosive Projection, yes, I did not use an Aura for my just yet, I'm sorry, I will do it this year. 
most likely. When it comes to Arcanes, we're gonna be using Arcane Rage R5 on headshot, 15% chance for a massive 180% damage to primary weapons for 24 seconds. As a secondary Arcane, you are gonna go with Arcane Avenger R5 on damage, 21% chance for plus 45% critical chance for 12 seconds. Now Scarlet Spear is over, at least on PC, so you gotta go back to Eidolon hunting to get your Arcanes. This is probably the most powerful offensive Arcane in Warframe. Both of these can be farmed from the third Eidolon down on Cetus. Now with the buff, considering it's a bonus additive after, right, so it stacks on top of what I already have, if my math is correct, and yes, I do believe it is correct, when laser sight is up and that one's up, we're gonna go over 100%, so we're finally in orange crit territory on a weapon that has a base critical chance of 15%. So bear that one in mind. Level 150, Corrupted Heavy Goons, we're gonna be unpausing them so they can hit me and I can get me buffs. Mirage's free ability for a fantastic damage increase, as well as our ever so lovely clones. Can we one-shot? Of course we can one-shot. I know this is an automatic shotgun and you're supposed to go rat a tat 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 but you don't need to when you have this level of damage. My friends, the Boar Prime, from my point of view, is a hidden gem. Riven Disposition, 5 out of 5, honestly, you are kidding me. This is a fantastic shotgun, one that I highly recommend. When it comes to usability issues, fine, it doesn't have any AoE. Okay, it doesn't have any AoE and it does have a lengthy reload, but outside of that, she's absolutely gorgeous. Again, highly recommend this beautiful, beautiful weapon. As always, my name is Malazar, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, favorite, share, and subscribe if you enjoy the content. If you got any sort of feedback for me, I would love to read it in the comment section down below. Also in the comment section down below if you want to suggest any particular type of content. But I can't exactly promise you that it'll be done by next time or even within a week because sometimes these things, well, kind of take a bit of time to make. If you want to have an impact on what I work on next, you can become a member of the YouTube channel. Click the join button next to the sub button to learn more. But until next time, my friends. Bye-bye.